Hello, fellow starseeds. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light, with another message for you today from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton for August 9th, 2024. And the title of this message is Lightworkers, This is Your Purpose. And they begin greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have attained so much wisdom throughout our existence, and we know that the wisdom we impart to all of you helps you to lead better lives. But we also know that wisdom is derived from life experience. We want you to understand that you are meant to have all of the life experiences you are having. These experiences are not meant just for your spiritual evolution, but rather you are meant to access the wisdom from those experiences and use that in order to help others who are going through something similar. Something else that experience gives you that nothing else can is your ability to feel compassion for another who is going through that same experience. It is one thing to teach another how to pull themselves out of a lower vibration, and it is quite another to feel compassion for that person without joining them in that lower vibration. Those of you who have experienced yourselves in a lower vibration, and we suspect that is all of you, know just how little you tend to know when you are in that state. You have access to lower vibrational thoughts. You take lower vibrational actions and you tend to solidify lower vibrational beliefs. Therefore, as a helper, a healer, and a guide, as a light worker, there is no point in you joining someone in their lower vibrational state You do not help them by doing so. Feeling compassion for someone and also sharing your wisdom is the best way to be of service there on earth. You are not meant to fix everyone else's problems. You are not meant to distract them from their negative emotions long enough so that they can have a smile on their face. You are meant to show others how you did it and explain to them the steps to pulling themselves out of their darkness and you are meant to do that with compassion. Now, why is the compassion necessary, you might wonder? It is your way of growing spiritually through the experience of helping another. If all you do is write books and create courses and tell people to take steps X, Y, and Z, then you have not then expanded. You have not been able to demonstrate an ability to hold yourself in a higher vibration while simultaneously helping someone who is currently operating in a lower vibrational one. Therefore, your ability to hold your vibration is of paramount importance to your journey. Now, many of you have often wondered why you had to choose such a challenging path in your lives. You wonder why you fail at this relationship or in that business venture, and some of you assume that there is a faulty belief at play, that you have some programming that you have not released yet. And those things may be true, but if you look at the bigger picture of your spiritual growth, you also need to have experiences where you lose something or someone to then be able to have compassion for another who is going through that particular struggle in their lives. When others have hardships, you must be able to dispense that wisdom from a place of also understanding where they are, or you will not be able to connect with them appropriately. You do not want to just sit in your ivory tower and dispense your wisdom practices and healing modalities. You want to be able to reach down and grab someone by the hand to pull them up, to show them that you care that you love them, that you actually want to help them with their current set of circumstances. That also brings you into a greater state of unity consciousness, which is also a step towards knowing yourselves as source. You could say that every purpose throughout the entire universe is for the being or the collective to know themselves as source. Therefore, you want to remember that as you teach, as you help, as you heal, You are doing so for another aspect of that which is you. And as you hold that awareness, the other or others can feel it. They will feel seen, heard, understood, and known by you. And then they have a greater chance of being helped. We are the Arcturian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Another delightful message from the Arcturian Council 
is channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is simply his name, danielscranton.com. Please stop by there and see everything Daniel has to offer. Also, if you would like to watch Daniel actually channel the Arcturian Council, you can do so on his very own YouTube channel, which is again his name, Daniel Scranton. I will be able to post the words to this message below in the show more section. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it's always my pleasure and deep honor to be able to bring these amazing messages to each one of you. And please don't forget to create a great day. Mm -hmm.